Hello and welcome back. In this video we'll take a look at the tool mount and the finished gantry setup and we'll discuss what changes need to happen and what we need to improve upon. So this is the first experimental build of the gantry and the tool mount um, and uh, it is moving quite beautifully. Um, I even put some timing belt in here and I fixed it down with an, with an M3 screw. Um, I just tried to um, to put it into the uh, 3D printed object and see if it would um, hold on to the timing belt well enough so this could move without destroying itself. And uh, yeah, that worked out pretty well. Um, I then figured out that I probably should have uh, made another piece where there were two screws here so I can uh, so I can push in the belt from this side and from the other and uh, I found out that some of the some of the edges here weren't quite the way I liked it and uh, these holes turned out to be a little bit too large so I'm going to go ahead and change these things and um, print them and then have a look at them again and uh, see if we can improve on what we've got now. Right now I'm preparing uh, the print for the tool holder part. And this is the this is the first part that I made. I wasn't quite happy with that. It did fit well but um, I did some small design changes and uh, I'll be printing another one. But it was good enough so I could have an estimate of uh, of of the sizes and if everything was fitting correctly. And uh, I mounted it and it was uh, was a pretty good result. Now most of these parts I print with my uh, with my simple 3D printer um, for the main reason that it is the, the fastest one I have, and uh, I'm not I'm not relying on 100% um, correctness, and uh, it just has to be finished rather quickly. So I'm using that one. And uh, let's print this and see how it goes. Alright, this is the Robin Plus printer. I have been getting quite a lot of requests that I open source the parts of this. Um, I still intend to do so, but uh, I suppose a lot of people would be disappointed um, if they were actually going to invest in building this um, because it's it's more of a rapid prototyping machine than something for for doing something um, with absolute precision but it works very well it's very fast um, and it gets the job done, that's why I like it so much. Um, when I do need something printed in uh, higher quality, um, I usually switch over to the Malian or to the Felix. Um, they have a lot better quality. Um, but, of course, they do take um, quite some time longer. Right, I'm gonna let this run, and uh, we'll see what the result will be.
Okay, the print is finished. Uh, this here is the part that was made. Uh, it looks very nice. I enlarged uh, the tunnel for the timing belt and uh, added three holes for um, for a nut on the inside and then the um, screw can actually exert a lot more force onto the timing belt so that doesn't slip. Um, but judging from the way this is held down right now, um, it's not going to need a lot more. I reduced the size of these two holes. Um, now uh, the uh, linear bearing will fit in here quite nicely and it turned out to be too small uh, for this one and that is one of the issues that you get from time to time uh, when you do 3D printing um, that is because this part um, has a lot less material, material around it um, you will not have as much shrinkage of the print as you have here and um, I'll probably take a drill and I'll uh, open this back up again. But the part looks very promising. I'm going to exchange the linear bearings that I glued in here with just a little bit of glue so I can push them back out again. And um, I will transfer this part in here. And once I'm done with that, I will probably need one extra iteration of the parts because I'm going to have to take a look at uh, adding um, end stops for the uh, X and Y axis and um, I haven't spent any time thinking about end stops yet because uh, you basically need to have everything finished to find the best position to put them in or you'll have to do it again and again and possibly another time um, in the meantime, I'm waiting for uh, a piece of sheet aluminum uh, to use as the table. I ordered that on eBay. Uh, it was sent off uh, two days ago, but it still hasn't arrived. So let's just keep waiting some more. These are the parts right now. Um, I haven't thought about software at all yet. Um, I'm probably going to start off using uh, an old version of my own software and maybe I'll even uh, try and build a version of uh, Repeteer for this um, but that won't, that won't be good for an engraver. But let's see. Um, it looks very promising right now. Uh, everything is, is very 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 beautiful. Um, the, the gantry is so extremely stable and you can put so much force on this without it budging the slightest bit uh, I'm really really keen on seeing um, how much engraving I can do with this if I can maybe even um, do some cutting of uh, plastic or, or plexiglass or something uh, that would be awesome but for a start everything is fine right now and uh, I'll report back when I have the missing parts and when I've uh, when I was able to fit this piece thanks for watching and bye